Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, the Hayward Fault is a rockin' today. There was a magnitude 3.2 earthquake that so far 4,013 people reported feeling. Now the moment tensor ball is pretty interesting. We have uplift and it looks like the fault line dropped a little bit going south. First wave, initial wave of the earthquake came from the north and tension was applied going east. On the felt report, looks like it was reported as far as south as Santa Cruz and to what Mendocino County, Lake County. We got Ukiah here, Clear Lake, and Yuba City. Roseville, Sacramento area, and yeah, look at the intensity there in the San Francisco Bay Area. 45 people in this one location of San Francisco reported it. Daly City, 92. I should give my family a call. I have family that still lives there. San Bruno, 53 people reported feeling it. Brisbane, 40. San Mateo, 45. Redwood City, 114. Is the local Kmart there still open? I used to be the uh, indoor pet uh, department manager at the uh, Kmart building there. That was probably about 35 years ago. I really enjoyed my job. The uh, store manager was a big jerk, but <laughs> that was back in the day when discrimination against women was still going on. He told me I couldn't apply for the uh, outdoor garden department management position because I was a woman. So he gave me the indoor garden and pet department management job. When I took over the job of the indoor pet and plant department, I had sales up um, unheard of, unheard of in Kmart history um, in just three months time. So high were the sales after I took over that the uh, district manager um, for Kmart flew out to meet me personally, which of course then made the uh, store manager even uh, dislike me more. Yeah, bring, brings back memories. Anyways, uh, another report from Redwood City 1. Doesn't say where that one's at. Mountain View. Uh, two responses there. And let's look at some of these other. Danville. 102 in Danville. Uh, San Ramon. 48, etc. Along the Hayward Fault, there was also a 2.6 that was felt by 224 people. Not as wide of an area that reported it. Let's see. I can't read what that one says, but here you can see we got Oakland. Um, for there, etc. Now, this moment tensor ball shows that the movement of the Hayward Fault went north. Yep, slightly towards the west. Using Google Earth, here we can see the Hayward Fault. This fault line is actually more dangerous than the San Andreas Fault Zone. And it's overdue for a major earthquake. Some of the felt reports on EMSE, sudden jolt. Felt like three quick thrusting movements in a northwest to southeast direction. Startling. Quick jolt, this one says. Fast single jolt. Quick sharp jolt. East Oakland Hills, it says. One person in residence felt it, but the other didn't notice. Cats noticed, but didn't impact their behavior. A quick rattle. A slight shake. Sounded like a door slammed. Swift jolt. Felt it. Felt like my couch moved, so I knew it was an earthquake. Very subtle. Just a little thump. Was on my bed, and there was a quick shake. Uh, desk. Suddenly jolted. It felt like if someone had dropped something heavy. More like a thud. House shook for a second. Slight, quick shake. Now, this person, I'm in Oakland near the Hayward Fault and 580 Freeway, light rumbling vibration. 
Well, you're probably correct if you thought it was the Hayward Fault. This might be a good reminder to be prepared for a major earthquake. This area is capable of having a magnitude 7.5 earthquake, and with all the structures that they call soft construction, which is usually um, a garage underneath, if there's a large earthquake, they very well could collapse. And then you got the problem with um, gas lines, water lines, fires, being cut off from emergency services and depending on what time of day or night this earthquake could happen a large one um, how would you get in contact with loved ones where would you meet if all communication is cut off do your loved ones know where to meet up if you can't get in contact with them do you realize that if the phone lines are jammed and you can't get through on your cell phone um, text messaging still might work. Do you carry a bug out kit with you when you go to work? Or do you have it in your car or somewhere close that you can grab it? Do you have hiking shoes in your bug out kit? Medical supplies? A whistle to call for help? A flashlight with batteries? Maybe a portable radio for emergency messages? So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not prepared, please take this as a reason to be prepared for a large earthquake. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.